This tutorial is a brief introduction to events and actions that let you add rich interactions to images and static designs. To add any event to your prototype, you'll have to use the Event tab located under the canvas. To define an event, first you need to specify what user action will trigger the event, and only then can you define the type of event triggered. All the user actions are listed at the left of the Event tab. Note you can apply several actions to one component. For instance, you can apply an action when the mouse is flying over an element as well as when it is clicked. Once you've selected the user action, you can apply the kind of response that will give the prototype. Click on the Add Interaction button and a dialog box will appear to let you build the event. On the left side, you will find all the type of events available. The Link To event lets you change the current screen for the selected one or a URL. Data Master actions are related to the dynamic data simulation and functional forms. You'll find a more detailed tutorial in the Advanced section. Just like the previous one, you'll find more information about pagination actions in the Advanced Tutorials. The Hide and Show event hides or shows content on the current screen. The Change Style event changes the color, border, or background properties of an element. The Enable Disable input enables or disables a field so that it can be edited or not by the user. The Set Focus On event centers the screen on a selected element and activates it if it's a text field. The set value event changes the value of a label, text field, or variable to what the user has entered. The select value event can only be applied to text field, offering a selection like drop down menus, lists, or groups of checkboxes. The event selects the value chosen by the user. The event pause waits the time indicated by the user before executing any other action. Combined with other events, it can simulate animation, like a progress bar. A single user action can trigger a sequence of events. You can add another event clicking on the arrow next to the word Do, or simply clicking on Add Interactions. Please note that the order of events matters, as they will be triggered chronologically, from left to right, or from top to bottom. They will load one after the other.